iron in its purest state, is available in the form of iron ore or ilmenite. It's the fourth most abundant element on the planet. This natural form undergoes different stages of extraction and production process. That results to pig iron, wrought iron, cast iron, and steel. Most people refers to iron as steel and steel as iron. Even if they look more or less the same, pig iron, wrought iron, cast iron, and steel are different types of metals with composition of different components. In this video, we shall give an overview of these various metals and what differentiates it from each other. Pig iron. The crude and pure iron, which is extracted from ores, is known as pig iron. And it forms the basic material for the manufacture of cast iron, wrought iron, and steel. It is produced by smelting iron ore, coke, and limestone together in a blast furnace. The coke absorbs most of the oxygen from the iron ore, which in turn produces chalky blocks known as pigs. In this context, the term pig iron is something of a misnomer. The term pig iron dates back to the time when hot metal was cast into ingots before being charged to steel plant. The molds were laid out in sand beds such that they could be fed from a common runner. The group of molds resembled a litter of sucking pigs. The ingot is called pigs and the runner is called sow. Therefore, when you hear the word pig iron, it simply means an impure iron that is just being extracted from its ores, which cannot be used immediately as they're very raw but requires further melting process to remove impurities. It is an intermediate product formed during the production of wrought iron, steel and cast iron. It is very brittle. Wrought iron. Wrought iron is produced by repeatedly heating and working the pig iron with tools to deform it to the required shape. It is an iron that has been reheated in a forge and then worked with tool. It is also called worked iron. It composed primarily of elemental iron with small amount of added slag. It is highly malleable, allowing it to be heated and reheated, and worked into various shapes. Dating back to antiquity, after iron has been smelted directly from the iron ore, they are reheated in a forge with charcoal, which served both as fuel and reducing agent. While still hot, the reduced iron and slag mixture were then removed as a lump, and worked, wrought, with a hammer to the desired shape, and to expel most of the slag. The term, wrought iron, is often misused today. It is commonly used to describe design similar to historical wrought iron piece, regardless of the metal used. Mild steel that has been machine bent into shape in a cold state, or cast iron, steel, and iron pieces that have been painted black, are both regularly mislabeled as wrought iron work. To be truly designated as a wrought iron, a metal piece must be forged by a blacksmith who heat it and hammers it into shape. Cast iron. Cast iron is an alloy of iron and carbon, which is hard and relatively brittle. It has a higher proportion of carbon than steel. Despite having the name iron, it is not a pure iron. It is an alloy containing 2 to 4% carbon, plus small amounts of manganese, silicon, sulfur, and phosphorus. Cast iron is produced by remelting pig iron with coke and limestone, or remelting iron, and mixing with scrap metals and other alloys. The liquid mixture is then poured into molds, cooled and then solidified. The remelting is done in a furnace, known as cupola furnace. Cast iron is very brittle. Therefore, it's very hard and non-malleable. Due to the higher carbon content, cast iron solidifies as heterogeneous alloys meaning it contains multiple constituents or materials in different phases within its microstructure. This mixed microstructure is what gives cast iron its distinctive physical properties. The internal carbon particles creates internal stress point conducive to fracture. Cast iron cannot be bent, stretched, or hammered into the required shapes. It has weak tensile strength. Therefore, it undergoes fracture before it deforms. Steel. It is an alloy of iron and carbon, and other elements such as manganese, nickel, copper, etc. It is hard and strong, and used as fabricating and structural material. It has high tensile strength and elasticity. To make the desired grade of steel, typically, less than 2% carbon is added to iron, and the result is made up of many other elements. Steel reacts when exposed to moisture, and more vulnerable to corrosion and rust, if proper care is not taken.